And we welcome you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for our main event. 12 rounds of welterweight action. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. The Mongoose is not throwing any fuel onto the fire for his opponent. He's just making his way down to the ring in a way in which he's checking that time card, ready to punch in and get to work. Romero's ring walk, not exactly full of fanfare or intensity. dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Opening round here scheduled for 12. Teddy, if I put two fighters in front of you and said you can train, both these guys have equal talent, but you can train the lefty or you can train the righty, who would you pick? Well, usually the lefty has a little advantage because you haven't seen them too often. And that's always going to be something that's going to really serve them a little bit. But they might not have an advantage in the business end of it. A lot of guys won't fight your fighter. And then what are you going to do? Razor's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. And he just holds on there. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Halfway through round number one. Get out of the way! Razor showing you a little. Oh, uh, things opened up, and he was able to place the right hand well. Hey, keep fighting. Good way to protect the midsection. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. The Mongoose's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Last 10 seconds of this first round. So we come to the end of the round, and clearly a confidence booster for this man. He got to his opponent. He was able to stun him. Teddy, when a fighter comes back after doing what he just did, do you see them almost light up, like get a little boost of energy because of that? Yeah, it does build your confidence a little bit. You know, it makes you feel more secure. I can control this man. I had my way. Take your time out there. Toma su tiempo. Take your time. Keep the pressure up, but don't follow him. Go. Got the ring off, all right? Set up the power shot. It's there for you. When it moves in, throw punches, okay? Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Razor's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Nice block by Romero.
we always see great athletes week in and week out. But Teddy, what sport do you think can produce the best boxers? Well, believe it or not, basketball, everybody would say football. We saw two tall Jones. He got demolished by little guys. We saw Gastineau. He got demolished. We saw Highsmith. He got demolished. A lot of football players haven't done well. But basketball players, they have the physical skill sets where they can make a pretty good fighter. Of course, you have to get a guy that mentally is adjusted. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. End of the round. And this is a little bit hard to take if you're sitting back at home watching this fight and saying, I, I just don't get it. I mean, if you want to win the fight, you have to throw punches. Maybe he doesn't want to win the fight. See, you're taking for scared he's fearful hey everybody's scared anyone who's in that ring is scared he's not controlling his fear he's not taking it and that's for people in all aspects of life whatever they do you have to take whatever it is that can intimidate you and you got to put it on the side and say okay right now i'm not going to let that get in the way he's letting it get in the way and round number three is underway Able to cover up that gut. Now hugging on the inside. The Mongoose has done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Protecting his head well with his guard. Body shot, body shot. Razor's punch didn't come close. Dismisses his opponent's head shot. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Gets rid of that body shot. Nice block. <laughs> Razors nailed by a huge hook. The big hook comes in right underneath the elbow. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Ten clicks of the top. And this round comes to an end. doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? And you are winning this fight. All right, breathe. Deep breath, eat some water. You're good. You're okay. Three, four. Now listen, you threw a white punch and it caught you. Tight. The Mongoose is out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight, but they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. Able to dismiss that body shot. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. 
He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you come in there, when you control it. Razors damaged by a left hand. Halfway through round number four. What a power punch by the Mongoose. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. is left now getting into the mix. Romero's proving to be elusive. Let it go. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Razor's last round to me, Teddy, completely ineffective. His accuracy way off the mark, throwing punches, but lost the round. Joe, talking about being off the mark, if you're traveling outside and you're lost, you need a map to find your way. He needs a map right now to find his way. He needs some direction. You're looking good. Looking good. He's tired. Look at him. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. Now listen to me. I need you to double up your punches and keep the lead, all right? Nice work. Romero's corner did a good job in it. A well-placed left hand by the Mongoose. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Nice work, nice work. The Mongoose is left, working well that time. He's tight, he's tight. Left and right, left and right. Halfway into round number five here. Not much action as he just ties up. Nice. Keep doing what you're doing. The Mongoose's right hand scores well that time. That was a nice hook that landed that time by Razor. Solid. One of the fastest snapping punches you'll ever see just before him. What a great hook that was. There's different ways to throw a hook. You can throw the textbook hook, the elbow up, you can throw it around. This one, half an uppercut, half a hook, got into the open space. A hooker cut. Exactly. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. And that's the end of round five. Romero is momentum now could carry things. That was a strong round scoring that knockdown. Stay away from the power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot going. Now listen.
how quickly can he recover? That's one of the questions that'll be answered early on in this round after being knocked down in that last round. Well, what he has to do is go out there, be defensive-minded. I think get a little time early on. Don't worry about winning or just get himself together, then start picking it up after that. Really frustrating his opponent now. The Mongoose is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Able to bring the hook down low. And he's holding. Razor's objective is to land that jab, and he did so right there. Halfway through round six. Oh, keep your feet moving! He digs in with a left hand to the body. Romero's on the wrong end of a razor sharp hook. That hook was well off the mark. up nicely gets rid of his opponent's body shot 10 seconds to go in this round so we've come to the halfway point of what has been a very highly competitive bout and Teddy if it stays that way throughout this night then this is going to be an all-time classic Okay, walk this guy down. Put the ring off and throw some counters. Every time he tries to throw that right, slip to the side and count. You gotta watch Listen, the water in the corner. Need to pick his jabs. When, when he throws a jab. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Jump on him. Nice. Accurate with the straight left. The Mongoose is making this like artwork here. I mean, his defense is just a masterpiece. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, actually. You know, the, the sweet science. It's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches. It's supposed to be about going in there avoiding punches. You know, finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you. He understands that. At the halfway point of round seven. On the mark with the straight left hand. You got this one. You see him holding on. There you Not go. hitting his mark there going upstairs. And he clinches yet again. Nothing there on the punch by Romero. Double up on your punches. Oh, God. The countdown, the final moments of this round. Don't let him get to you, kid. And this round comes to an end. Pull ahead. This fight is too close. I need you to double up the jam.
listen to me. I need you to keep busy. I need more than one punch now. This fight is even. So I need to see more than one punch out there. Start of round eight, Teddy's scorecard. Well, slight lead here, but I'll say this. He may be up on your scorecards, but his opponent knows how to land a punch against him. Yeah, he's found the home for that right hand. He notices that he brings that left hand back slow, so the right hand beating him to the mark. Comes right back at him with a left hand. What a great job. He gave one right back oh, in return. Nice two. work Let's by go. the Mongoose. Romero's bang by a big uppercut. Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Romero's throwing lots of punches, and not many are landing. But what's that old saying? Hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick. Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. And he ties up on the inside. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. A well-placed left hand up top. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a Just deal where crazy. neither one could yeah, win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. I need you to cut this guy off. Start moving your hands. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right? More than one punch out there. More than one. We're in a fight now. Throw punches. You got me? We're in a fight. You need the capital. I got more. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Left and right, left and right. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Pace yourself. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Right to the belt line. That was a miss by Romero. Keep moving, keep moving. Halfway through the ninth round. Unload! Unload! More punches! Nice work to the midsection with the left. Well, I like the way he went to the body with that hook. Work the body! Uppercut! Zones in on that overhand right. Razor's able to avoid that punch. Blocks that belt line well. Nice strike after catching one by the Mongoose. Nice solid left hand scored by Romero. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round.
Razor's got to be careful not to fall prey to what so many fighters do. Close fight, you may be up, but you may not stay that way. He's getting some sound advice from his cornerman. Okay, that was the round. Now listen, escucha. You need to establish that jab. When you get close, cuando te acercas, I need you to jump with that power hand, okay? Much better. Much better. And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. The Mongoose is putting forth a game plan of being a volume relax, puncher, relax. but Teddy, he's not landing a lot of these punches, and what kind of effect can that have on this fight? Well, he can get frustrated a little bit, and hey, he might not win the fight. <laughs> he can have that kind of effect. Is that effective enough? Work the body, kid! Body shots! Punch! Punch! No, he missed that right. Body shot, body shot. Good, solid right hand lands. And bang, and away he goes. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Razor's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Romero's rip to the head. A flush hook scores well for him. Let it go! Romero's now showing off what he probably worked very hard on in the gym. You can see that the effective footwork, the movement, is making for this to be a fairly easy round for him. Teddy, what kind of training regimen do you put a guy through to develop this skill? Well, what you do is you have to work on defense. Sometimes I'll put a fighter in the ring to spar, and I won't let him throw punches back. I'll make him just make the... He shook him up with that right hand. Good big shot there. Wow, he goes down gonna be on the elevator fight up and down all night one two three four five and that it's over this fight is over razors hand to be raised in victory he scores the knockout here tonight Romero's your winner by knockout. Now, I think he was headed towards a decision win anyways, but what a good way to just put a stamp on his evening. Yeah, bring down the curtain and make sure that more people are going to be talking about you when they leave the arena tonight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.